I show him my gun and I told him to stop it. I have a gun. Hey! This is the moment a group of would-be robbers came face to face with 73-year-old Albert Marcuse 38 caliber revolver. They ran because they saw my gun and I was, you know, serious about it. We got this uh, jewelry store owner right here doing some uh, American justice. Good old-fashioned gun hooting robbers tried to uh, stick him up and he stuck them up with the pew pew. Now this guy looking like Clint Eastwood coming out here behind the counter chasing these guys out. One of them came out with the with the damn sledgehammer. So they immediately when they saw this gun, they were like, oh, sh oh hell no, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here in our stolen vehicles. The cops immediately arrived behind. Hilarious. Let's take a look at this, guys. Pleasant Hill co-signment store worker scares off robbers with a gun. Hell yeah. Pleasant Hill, California. Pleasant Hill co-signment store worker scared off a group of would-be robbers by pointing his gun at them. Quote, I showed them my gun and I told them to stop. I have a gun, said the 73-year-old Albert Marcu in his confrontation with a group of young men at the state school Simons on Contra Costa Boulevard. Quote, they ran because they saw my gun. You know, I was serious about it, Marco said. They panicked and they ran out. Ooh, he was serious. He wasn't about to play like that uh, old man that shot those, uh, that pregnant woman. The Please, I'm pregnant. And he said in the interview, oh, I shot her ass. The lady didn't run fast as a man, so I shot her the back twice. She's dead, and they told her off, but he got away. She says, don't shoot me, I'm pregnant, I'm a baby, and I shot her anyway. And it happened about 4.20 p.m. on Monday at the store, which sells jewelry, rings to watch surveillance video, shows a woman walking through the store. Michael believes she was a scout scoping out the security cameras while on the phone with the young man. The video shows the woman walking out of the store, stalling and trying to keep the security guard from shutting the door on her friends. But the suspects forced the door open and bum rushed their way inside. One of them carrying a sledgehammer. Damn, they is some professionals. He running. Hey, you got that sledgehammer? Yeah, we good. Let's go. All right, let's check this video out, guys, because I'm convinced that this is probably a snippet from a Clint Eastwood movie. Look at this, guys. Hey, Clint Eastwood across the counter at this jewelry store. The next day, those criminals come out. It's a trailer. It's a trailer for his movie. I bet you. Let's watch. Bad things can happen. Robbers storm a consignment shop in Pleasant Hill and they get more than they bargained for because a worker was armed and ready to act. Our crime reporter Henry Lee live now at okay. the Pleasant Hill <laughs> Police Department with the details. Henry. Yeah, these guys probably didn't expect to stare down the barrel of a gun after they invaded this consignment shop. They were back outside in less than 30 seconds. I show him my gun and I told him to stop it. I have a gun. There he goes, there he goes. This is the sledgehammer. <laughs> this sledgehammer fell on top of the guy. Marcus, He's still falling. Caliber revolver. They ran because they saw my gun and I was, you know, serious about it. Get they the Pandora. And they ran out. It happened Monday afternoon at Estates Consignments on Contra Costa Boulevard in Pleasant Hill, which sells jewelry, rings, and watches. Surveillance video shows this woman walking through the store. Marcu says she was a scout, scoping out all the security cameras while the Mexican, on the phone with the young Mexicans man. Mexicans and the Browns Here working you see together. The woman Look at that. Walking out and stalling, trying to keep the security guard from shutting the door to let her friends in, but they forced the door open and bum rushed their way inside. One guy's carrying a sledgehammer. Yeah. <laughs> After a worker screams, Marcou makes his way to the jewelry section, as do the intruders. Marcou then pulls out his gun. The group scatters out of the shop and climb into two Infinity Q50s, one white. The oh, this other is hilarious. Black. Look, look at the cops. Look, look at the cops. He's already coming behind them. He already knows that, hey, this, one of these cars is stolen. We don't, I don't know nothing about this jewelry store attempted robbery, but... We have to come after these uh, stolen cars here. A Hill police cruiser pulls up right behind them. <laughs> I've learned that's because the white Infinity is stolen and triggered a license plate reader <laughs> alert. Despite the quick police response, those Infinities took off and the intruders escaped. Marcu says perhaps with their lives. If they threaten my life or my life of the employees, I'll use the gun. 100%. He says he keeps his revolver on him inside the store because of recent similar incidents. This video shows two men smashing display cases and stealing jewelry at the home consignment oh, center probably in the same people. a week ago. I didn't want to shoot anybody. Same clothes and everything. Right? But I have to make a statement. Too many bad things happened. Stores get robbed left and right. The intruders have yet another reason to consider themselves lucky.
Tiger, Marcuse German Shepherd, happened to be at the groomers that day. I have a message for all the business owners to take example and fight for themselves because if you don't fight for yourself, nobody will. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get the pew pew at him, man. Launch the dogs at him because these people coming in with guns and sledgehammers. A planned attack. I mean, you saw that lady she coming in there acting like she looking at jewelry when she's scouting out the place, holding up the security guard at the door. Now, this is what I'm talking about, people. This is what, I, this is what we need. We need every store owner toting guns, machine guns, if anything, lob grenades at these people. Something because these people need to know that hey, uh, all these people at these stores, they are ready to shoot our ass if we try to rob them. Now the police, their their, their response time that that's not the response time because they came after the stolen car. They didn't know nothing about this this robbery happened. That's just happened like some sort of miracle coincidence right there. That's that's unbelievably um, crazy and it's damn near a miracle because if police showed up that fast, most of the crimes would be stopped immediately. Like literally. They ran out the door, and you could see the police cruiser pulling in. They're like, about to get that stolen car back, or whoever stole it, too. That's what I'm talking about. Props to this old man right here in this fedora, coming out Clint Eastwood style. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, people. Like, comment, subscribe to BuzzReview. See you on the next one.